today we're going to be sampling uh, some records that I have right behind me. Um, I'm really excited. Um, I'm grateful to be here, to be alive, and uh, just to have a good time with you guys. So let's jump right into it and see what we have right here. All right, so I have this record uh, that we're going to listen to right now, but as I drop the needle and we start listening uh, to the record, before I even hit record, I actually want to go into my browser and I'm going to go into my sample pack volume three. Uh, if you guys enjoy the sounds that you're going to listen to right now with me, go down to the link of this video and make sure you guys pick up uh, sample pack volume three. Let's go ahead and listen to what we have right here. I counted uh, 16 beats within this sample that I'm gonna chop up. I just wanna make sure I have my selection, my loop selection, just spot on. So let's go ahead. All right, let's get the downbeat. Boom. And then get the end point. All right there. I want to make sure I get the selection exactly where I want it. I want that perfect loop. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. All right, that, that, that's it right there. I'm going to process that, discard. And since I know there's 16 beats within, within this selection, I'm not going to go to manual chop. I'm going to go to BPM, and I'm going to leave it at 16 uh, or at 4 beats, which would equal 16 slices. Go to beats right here, and you'll see uh, that the slices, 2 beats, there's 8 slices, uh, 4 beats, there will be 16 slices. <laughs> All right, so that already gives me my chops. I'm gonna go ahead and convert this. I wanna tap out this tempo, see where we're at. 65, I don't like 65. Let's actually go up two semitones. Let's try, uh, hopefully we get up to 70. Oh, yeah, exactly. Well, 69 right there, so it's close enough for 70. I'm going to go ahead and lay my idea down real quick. Let's do four bars and see if we could just kind of lay down the main idea so I don't forget these chops. And then as I have this sequence right here, I'm going to go ahead and start auditioning some of my samples. Yeah, that's rolling. And now I'm gonna go to track two. A brand new drum program. Browse. And let's audition some kicks. Woo! Oh. Yo, so it's so important, at least for me, to audition the kicks and snares that I'm going to be using as I'm playing back the sample that I'm working with. I'm going to go back, go into our snares, and let's see what uh, feels right for the sample. Ah. Man, all right, they, they sound really good. Okay, let's listen to some hi-hats. All right, so we got some kicks, snares, and hi-hats. Uh, let's see what feels right and start laying something down on the grid. I'm going to record this. I'm going to turn off quantize and let's lay this down on the grid. No repeat. All 
I could even jump in right here to my program editor and get off of no repeat. I want to cut this one very short, just like that. And I'm going to go to envelopes. And right here, I believe it's right here in envelopes, I want to put a high pass filter. There you go. Yeah. Let's pan this. Man, uh, all right, so I'm having a good time. I'm having fun. I hope you guys are also having a great time. Uh, I'm going to jump into track number three. Uh, something about sampling, at least for me, when I'm working on uh, sessions with my MPC, I usually stick to no more than five tracks. Not that I try to limit myself, but I find myself only using like four or five tracks the most uh, but lately I've been kind of adding a little bit more than five tracks uh, you'll see why I actually right here in track number three I'm gonna go into my key group programs I wanted my track number three to be a key group program and I have this uh, sample pack right here I'm gonna go into my uh, expand or my expansions go down right here uh, I've been messing with uh, soulful instruments uh, Soulful Instruments is uh, a sample pack full of key group programs. And these key group programs, they're just uh, samples, like one shot samples that just sound really nice. And it's laid out on your 16 velocity sensitive pads and you can perform these pads melodically. So uh, they, they could be samples of anything. You could make your own key group programs, but I find these sounds so good. And especially with sample based production, they just blend really, really nice. <laughs> God, that sounds good. Okay. God. Hey, let's go to track number four, and let's add another different key group. In track number four, I'm actually going to jump in and let's add a bass line. There's also Vintage Provider. Uh, there's also a bunch of key group programs, but they got some really nice bass lines right here. <sighs> oh my goodness. Okay, we can load that up right there. And let's... Okay, this is good, but it's a little off key. Uh, when you do the, the key detection, uh, most of the times it works, but if it's a little off, like I feel like it's a little off. I could go back to that sample and let's see if we could just drop it down. I'm not gonna drop it down semitones. I wanna fine tune it. This come down at about, I don't know, let's try 35. All right, that's a lot better. Let's go ahead and record this right here. Let's actually jump into some plugin programs. Uh, I've been listening or, or messing around with this new Jura uh, plugin right here. It's got some pretty interesting sounds right here. Uh, I want something a little more plucky or a little high pitch, something that stands out because uh, there's strings already that they sound very soft. So I'll go right here to the pluck section and um, see what we have right here. I'm gonna do that, but I'm gonna go to no repeat. That's much easier instead of me trying to tap that out. So let's go ahead and lay that down. Yeah. 
I'm gonna go ahead and copy this sequence and let's paste it in sequence number two. I'm gonna jump in in sequence number two, reopen this sample, and I'm running short on time right now. I wanna make sure I get this. I'm gonna cut that sample off. I wanna switch it up in uh, sequence number two. I'm gonna jump right back into this record because I heard the outro of it and it switches up a bit, so I wanna capture that. I'm gonna go to back into my sampler and now I'm gonna go to pad tap. Pad tap is going to add any new samples that I capture into the sample chop program. So I don't have to create a new program. I could just, you know, bank A is already filled up. Now I go to bank B, there's empty pads right here. As soon as I drop the needle and I listen to what I like, I'm gonna start sampling and start filling up bank B. Oh man, that's hard. Uh, bank C, whoa, that, that sounded cool. It's about to jump into another section. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually really excited for this. Okay, let's go ahead and lay this down right here. Man, that sounds awesome. Uh, just a real quick update uh, for anybody that is a part of the sample sharing program within this YouTube channel. Uh, make sure at the end of this video, you could go ahead and download the sample chops that I'm creating right here, these programs, load them up into your MPC and follow along or just do your own flips. But just make sure you are uh, a part of the sample sharing program in this channel. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up right there. I feel like I have a lot going on. Now I just gotta go ahead and uh, import this and start mixing it down and um, just kind of cleaning up uh, some of the, the sounds within the samples, uh, the bass, uh, the other extra instruments that I added. But I feel really happy with this right here. Uh, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I had a great time. I have fun doing these videos. I hope you also had a, a, a great time just hanging out with me. So thank you so much. I'll catch you guys on our next video. Peace.